Let's talk a little bit about vital signs of blood pressure. Okay. Okay. First things first. Notice I, I, I put them up separately. Vital signs and blood pressure because you know, frankly, when they tell you to go out and, and get vital signs, people always assume that they need to get blood pressure also. Well, it's kind of true, but blood pressure is not one of the vital signs. Does anyone know what vital signs are? Yeah. What are they? It's like, it's the pulse, the temperature, the, pulse, temperature wave, the blood pressure. Not wait. No, blood pressure. No. No. So, vital signs can be, you know, assigned three letters, T, P, R. Temperature, temperature, pulse, and respiration. And, respiration. and, and why uh, would that pulse. be? Why would that be? Let's look at the word vital. Okay, first things first. What is vital? Vital is made up of two word parts. You know, I love vita, medical. Vita, which means life. Right. So, vita. I'm not which pertaining means to. Life. Life. That's right. And suffix al, that means pertaining to. So, vital means pertaining to life. Right? Amazing. So what exactly is pertaining to life? Something that qualifies as making sure that if the person has these things, they are alive. So if you go ahead and touch the desk, right? How does it feel? Touch it. How does it feel? Hard. Oh, come on. Cold. Cold. <laughs> cold and hard. Cold and hard. Okay, fine. We can, we can keep the cold. The hard part doesn't necessarily matter. But the reason I'm pointing this out to you, it's cold. It's not really cold. It's room temperature. Yeah. All right. Is it cold in the room? No. No. Yeah, that's right. You don't feel that it's cold. It's actually kind of toasty. But the desk feels cold, and yet it's the same temperature as the ambient air. Well, your temperature is significantly higher. While it may be 70 degrees in the room, your temperature is 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. My God, I hate that number. But, uh, <laughs> you know, nonetheless, you know, if you were to walk into the room, right, and you found someone on the floor. It could be me taking a nap, you know, something like that. But <laughs> let's say a strange guy is on the floor in the room. One of the first things you may do is say, hey, who are you? What are you? What are you doing? If the person doesn't respond, you may want to shake them a little bit or something like that. But in reality, most people just touch their forehead. And if it's just as cold as this, which is room temperature, low temperature. Well, pretty darn low. You ever heard uh, this uh, nice famous American saying that the person has assumed room temperature? No. no. If a person assumes room temperature, that means they're dead. Because we as human beings never assume room temperature. If we do... Physically it is cold. It's yeah, but you still dead. never get cold yourself if you check your temperature. You know, you can stick a thermometer over here, for example, you check it, it's going to be 98.6 degrees. So, huh? 36.5 Celsius. 36.6 to 37. Yeah. Yeah. So, but, you know, we'll put that up. So the first one will be temperature. temperature. The second one, if they're not as cold as this desk, will be pulse. And of course, the next one will be respiration. Respirations or breathing. They added one more thing recently to this, and I, I don't necessarily agree or disagree with it. They added one more thing. I'll put it up in the end. Pain. Pain. Yeah, pain. You're supposed to feel pain. As a married man, I can assure you, that's what makes me alive. <laughs> in any case, temperature, pulse, respirations, and now pain. But in reality, TPR. That's what vital signs are. So we did say that normal temperature is 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit, or 36.6 to 37 Celsius, or centigrade, considered to be normal body temperature temperature okay now we're gonna spend a little time talking about temperature first so let's get this done can I erase this go for it all right thank you I should have said may I to be correct 
So what do we need to know about temperature? Well, first things first, we need to make sure we know where to obtain the temperature. Now, where do we get the temperatures from? Well, in reality, what we're trying to look for is something that's called the core temperature, or a temperature that's somewhere in the middle, in the center of your body. Okay? Now, we have a couple of places that help us get to the center of the body. Well, look, the mouth is pretty good next to the center of the uh, body, right? Mm -hmm. So, we can stick a, well, you know what? Thermometer, for example. It's very important for us to know some of the terminology. Thermometer, okay? Or thermometer. Thermo means heat. heat. Meter means to measure. measure. So thermometer is, a, is an instrument that we use to measure temperature. Okay, so where can we stick that thing? Well, the mouth. Okay, mouth is also called the oral cavity. So the temperature that we obtain from the mouth is called oral. Oro means mouth, al means belonging to. So oral temperature is from the mouth. Well, let's go further on down. Where else could we possibly stick our thermometer? We all know what a thermometer looks like. So we have an opening here, and we also have one down there. I'm not sure if you're familiar with that one. All right? But, rear end, and we call that the rectal temperature. Okay? Rectum in Latin means the end. Well, that is the end. Now, one other place where we can put the thermometer is under the arm. Yeah, axilla, which is the armpit, and we call this axillary. I got this a little backwards, but you understand. Okay, so axilla being the armpit. Well, axilla. So let's let's discuss this first because it's very important for us. People take uh, temperature for granted, but we have to take uh, accurate temperature. So, what are the requirements for thermometer to take an accurate measurement? Well, it can't be exposed to the elements. And it has to be tightly surrounded by tissues. Like this. Can't be like this. Has to be nice and snug like this in order for the temperature not to be exposed to anything else. Right? So, if you put it in somebody's mouth, now that I explain to you, see, it's very easy for me just to give you instructions on how to instruct the patient. But it's better for you to tell me and to understand why. So the requirement is that the thermometer be surrounded by tissue and not exposed to the elements. So what would your instructions to the patients be if you were to put a thermometer into their mouth? Close the mouth. That's a good start. But mouth is a hollow cavity. What else would I, because remember, it has to be surrounded by tissue. So where would you put it? Under, under the tongue. tongue. Under, under the, the tongue. tongue. Very the nice. Mouth. So close the mouth oh. under the tongue. And if you close the mouth, please don't talk. Oh. Yeah, don't talk. Well, you can't talk with mouth though, can you? Mm. Many people have tried. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So keep your mouth shut. Now let me ask you a question. What would be the most common thing, common common complaint people have when they come to see a doctor? They're usually they're sick. Yeah. And they take their temperature. Okay, what's the most common illness that people get when they feel crappy? Cold. Cold, Cold. flu, right? Cold. Yeah. What happens to your nose? Run, run your nose. Can you breathe through it? No, breathing yes. problem. So you're breathing through your mouth. So how can you keep your mouth closed with a thermometer in there? So that puts in question whether a sick person can actually take a good oral temperature while they're sick. So you have to take that into consideration. Now. Also, people like to come. Nowadays, it's very popular. We go to Dunkin' Donuts, Just you go to the doctor, and either a large iced coffee or a big hot coffee or tea, whatever it is that you drink. So you're out there sipping a new beverage, which I don't recommend that anyone do in the, in the lobby of the doctor's office. It's the easiest way to get sick. Okay, So you're sitting there sipping on some coffee, and the first thing you do, you come in, stick the thermometer in there. Yeah, that's not going to be right. No, it's not going to be right mouth keeps that temperature for about 20 minutes. Mm. It's either cold or hot. So all these tissues either cool off or heat up. Is that going to give us an accurate reading? 